We've talked so much about haunted towns and cities and houses on this channel, but never haunted castles. Well, here we go folks. This is our list of the top five haunted castles that you should never visit. Number five on this list is the Leap Castle. The Leap Castle is located in Ireland and it's just a setting for a movie waiting to happen. CN Traveler says, built somewhere between the 13th and late 15th century, this Irish castle has seen more gruesome deaths than a Game of Thrones wedding. As legend has it, during a struggle for power within the O'Carroll clan, which had a fondness for poisoning dinner guests, by the way, one brother plunged a sword into another, a priest, as he was holding mass in the castle's chapel. The room is now called the Bloody Chapel, and the priest is said to haunt the church at night. And the horror doesn't end there. During castle renovations in the early 1900s, workmen found a secret dungeon in the Bloody Chapel with so many human skeletons, they filled three cartloads when they hauled away. The dungeon was designed so that prisoners would fall through a trap door, have their lungs punctured by wooded spikes on the ground, and die a slow, horrific death within earshot of the sinister clan members above. Man, people really were nuts back then. Like, think about the dude who designed that kill chamber. Putting down all the spikes, arranging them in such a fashion that they wouldn't kill somebody right away, but give them just enough time to feel the sheer agony of it all and hear a bunch of their enemies having dinner above them. Obviously, because of all of this, this castle is right up there as being one of the most haunted in the world. The ghosts of those who died in this chamber are said to haunt those who stop by. Their spirits are filled with rage and anger and they want to take it out on all the people who come here. Like, this sucks because it would be kind of interesting to tour this castle, but at the same point, I don't know if I even blame these guys. Like if I had to die like that, then I feel as if I'd be a pretty bitter ghost about things as well. Number four on this list is the Huska Castle. This is right up there as being a castle to hell, if you ask me. CN Traveler says, located about an hour north of Prague, Huska Castle has no fortifications, no kitchen, and had no occupants when it was built. It does, however, have something within its walls that no other castle in the world has, a large hole in the ground that many consider to be the gateway to hell. Huska was strategically built over the hole, which is fabled to be bottomless to seal up the gateway and keep demonic creatures from entering our world. The demons are said to be trapped in the walls of the lower level. Here's where the story gets really creepy though. Before sealing it off, nearby prisoners were granted pardons if they would agree to be lowered into the hole by a rope and report back what they saw. When the first prisoner was lowered, he started screaming after a few seconds. When he was raised back up, the story goes, he appeared to have aged 30 years. So there is literally a gateway to hell here in this castle. That is so freaking cool and at the same point, so freaking scary. Think about how many demons and ghouls must be running around this place all the time. The devil, for all we know, might claim this castle as his own and show up here regularly. And then there's the whole story with the prisoner. How in the hell did that happen? He gets lowered down and then seconds later raised back up only to be 30 years older? I wonder if this indicates to us that time moves a lot faster in hell. Or maybe he lived 30 entire years in hell in the short time that it took us to reel him back up. Can you imagine 30 years in hell just dangling by a rope? That would be, well, that would be hell. Number three in this list is the Vorgard Castle. This place has seen things, guys. CN Traveler says, in the northeastern Danish town of Dronningland, Vorgard Castle displays works by Raphael, Goya, and El Greco to the public. But the stately building is also as renowned for its dark past. The most famous myth tells the story of Ingerbord Skeel, who acquired the castle in 1578 and drowned its architect in the moat so that he could never design another building as beautiful as Vorgard. People today report seeing Skeel's tormented ghost wandering through the castle at night dressed in white. Even if you don't believe in ghost stories, you might still get goosebumps passing by Rosdenton, Vorgard's most infamous dungeon. The room was designed so that an adult man can neither stand up straight nor lie stretched out, and there are no holes for light or air either. Ingeborg Skeel. What a freaking name, eh? Kinda sounds a bit like a robot, but I guess that was a human being back in the day. Also, let's take a moment and actively think about that dungeon there. So you can't stand up, but you also can't lie down, and there are no holes for light or air. 
Think about how horrible it would be to go in there. It'd just be a tiny little box. Like getting put inside that thing would be the torture. You wouldn't need to do anything else to the person. This place's dark history has made it one of the most haunted spots in Denmark. Which is really too bad because as CN Traveler described, the castle itself is remarkably beautiful. Number two on this list is Casa Loma. Now I had to talk about this one because it's actually located in Toronto, Canada and I have personally been to this castle before myself. CN Traveler says there is a gothic revival style castle in Midtown Toronto that, whether you realize it or not, you almost certainly have seen. On screen, that is. Casa Loma has made appearances in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, X-Men, Disney's live action Beauty and the Beast, and as Hogwarts in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is partly because of the mansion's distinct architectural qualities, but also because of its legend. There are decades worth of reported ghost sightings, including the spirit of Sir Henry Pallet, its original inhabitant, and his wife Lady Mary for whom the castle was built. Even more frequently seen is the apparition of a maid from the early 1900s when 60,000 people in Toronto died of the flu. Now, I personally cannot attest to the ghostly sightings. I only went there once and I went right in the middle of the day when there were tons of other people around so didn't really get a chance to see anything too spooky. What I can speak on though is the tunnels. There are a ton of deep and long winding tunnels in this castle. They are all creepy as holy hell and I imagine that they've seen their fair share of death. I can't actively tell you not to go to this place, considering I personally have been myself, but I will say to tread with caution. And finally, number one on this list is the Bangar Fort. Located in India, this ancient fort has a curse that hangs over it. Deep in the state of Rajasthan, at the foot of the Aravali mountain range, lies an abandoned 17th century ruined fort city. One piece of local lore says a sadhu who lived atop the nearest hill permitted the fort to be built under the condition that it not cast a shadow on his own home. Once his mandate was disobeyed, he cursed the city. Considered the most haunted place in India, entry to the popular tourist destination is strictly forbidden after sunset. Nearby villagers whisper of paranormal activity, but skeptics say the After Dark Band's true intent is to protect people from the dwellers of an ancient tiger reserve. The gloomy aura and negative vibrations of Bangar Fort, however, are agreed upon by believers and non-believers alike. I don't know if I buy into the whole protection from tigers thing. Everything that I've read about this place and the personal accounts that people have reported seem to indicate that something evil and paranormal is definitely afoot. It seems that somebody really likes the sun and having anything get in the way of that causes them a big problem. So much so that they curse the place and the whole freaking city. Demon-like creatures have occasionally been reported. They're said to be a cross between a werewolf and a slug-like creature. Really weird looking, apparently. Locals are always on the lookout for them and tell their kids never to wander off too far to the fort for fear that they may never return. Well, there you have it, guys. That is our list of the top five haunted castles you should never visit. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy haunted castles that you know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.